Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm gonna focus on a really cool class project. It's gonna be called the Trash Bot Project. We all hate to take the trash out. So, you know, with robotics, we're always looking for a way for some robot to do something that we don't wanna do. So if you guys wanna see the Trash Bot Project, stay with me. Hino, Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so again, I'm the one that has to take the trash out, and you're right, there's probably a million other things I can complain about, but I really don't like taking out the trash. I don't like taking out the trash. So I thought, hey, why not give my students an assignment where they have to come up with a trash can that can take itself out. So today what I'm gonna do is show you guys kind of the ground rules of the project and then show you some very successful trash bots. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at one trash bot here and show you what I require of my students. So they have to obviously have a trash can and I gave them some of those panels. You might have to dig around uh, EV3, no, it's not a part of the core kit, but these come from different sets that I have. Um, but you can use picture frames, um, whatever the students can get their hands on. So my rule is that you should be able to take a wadded up piece of paper and put it into your trash can. It needs to be able to have a lid, and this student is working on getting their lid. And the lid just means it needs to be able to close over the trash can, you know, like the trash can that you guys have in your neighborhood. Um, their bot, it can be whatever they want. This is a Riley Rover. It can be an educator robot. It can be something that they can just create. And then I tell them there has to be a sensor. This robot trash can has to be sensor activated. So this student's going to have it be ultrasonic activated some people are using a touch sensor and that's it the robot just needs to be able to move again have a trash can wadded up piece of paper inside has to have a lid and it's sensor activated and then let's go over and take a look at the course that their trash bot has to complete okay so here is the course that my students designed for the trash bot so their trash can will start right here at the starting point. It will have to move over the ramp of doom. My students thought, hey, let's give this, you know, some speed bumps here. And then their trash can needs to end up along the curb here so that the trash truck can pick it up. So let's go ahead and see some successful trash bots in action that actually fulfill this course. Okay, so we have the trash bot here. It needs to contain trash. It needs to have a sensor. And your goal is to go from the start all the way over to the finish. And we need to be able to put a piece of paper in your trash can. Be able to close the lid. That looks better. Beautiful! Look at those happy faces. The lid. Oh, I like that. It's gonna be ultrasonic sensor activated. Okay guys, so there you have it, the Trash Bot class project. It's really fun. Some students get very frustrated though because their trash can, it doesn't quite move to where they want it to go, but they persevere and I tell them, hey, let's increase your quitting threshold. Let's try to 
have your, you know, you and your team just keep plugging away until you can get that trash can to get into that spot. And you know what? They're just, they're coming through it really well and I'm really proud of them. So it's a really cool project. And again, those of us that teach robotics, we're always looking for ways to connect what they're doing in class to something in real life where they can apply that knowledge and say, wait a second, I have them do an assessment at the end of this project. And one of my questions is, what is some what are some obstacles to having this trash bot you know become reality and a lot of them say you know we keep our trash cans behind the gate and we can't open up the gate um we, we're not using an ultrasonic sensor so the trash can wouldn't be able to know if it's going to run into a car or something like that so they're able to think through this problem solve and come up with possible you know problems or obstacles so it's a really great project give it a shot okay guys i am mr hino for sales lego robotics i'm out he's out he's out we got this we got this we got this guys hey guys mr hino here thank you so much for watching and if you love robotics don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool okay guys take care